Hello everyone, I'm Pao Ordonia, the Secretary and Community Manager of Break the Fake Movement from Makati City, Philippines. And here's our pitch for the time. As an advocate of media literacy education, I always envision a vision where every Filipino is empowered to think critically and has the freedom to access factual information. This vision comes to fruition when we see how the Philippines quickly adapted to the fast-changing technology. Anyone can access media messages anywhere at any time of the day. But one day, we woke up with a disrupted media ecosystem. Fake news, which must be called disinformation, has become a phenomenon that targets everyone. COVID-19 strengthens its force, leading World Health Organization to point in pandemic, a much deadlier disease than COVID. For this reason, Break the Fake Movement contributed to the efforts of eradicating the problem of contagious disinformation. Since 2017, we have been championing media literacy. In a response to the pandemic, we developed Media Civics Lab, a leadership program to train SD leaders to address COVID-19 disinformation. Media Civics Lab achieved its objectives by creating innovative and inclusive activities in three phases. First, participants were engaged through various learning sessions such as live master classes and workshops. Also, Break the Fake Movement Take Pride as we introduced a self-paced learning modality where other individuals can access the lectures asynchronously. To emphasize, this is the first in the Philippines for MIL edition. Phase two, on the other hand, focused on strengthening partnerships through collaboration. Our partners generously share the resources and expertise to train the SK leaders. And for the phase three, the innovative community programs activates collective actions from various SK groups to translate their learning into actions by developing a project for their community. And as a result, the numbers on this slide evident, evidently shows the impact made by the program on its beneficiaries. The targeted participants were ignited to sharing their learning journey with their community, and that is why Media Civics Lab highlights volunteerism and citizenship. A total of 43 youth volunteers were engaged in the program. And 28 civic society organizations share the resources to amplify the program's impact, even mobilizing their own manpower and volunteers to make the program successful. For example, the Asian Institute of Journalism and Communication created its own proper application, inviting their own stakeholders to apply in the program. In addition, four SK groups were supported with grants to mobilize projects for their community related to combating disinformation. This eventually led to mobilizing 57 underground community volunteers to help activate and launch the local MIL events. One of its great success stories is, a, is the Anuwagi project from Tapas Capis. The primary goal of their project, I mean, or information on those initiatives, is to educate the indigenous people's community in their municipality on how to combat COVID-19 disinformation. As the community they serve is in a remote area, they maximize tricycles as the repository of learning materials and service the program's venue where the IPs can gather, learn around, and participate in discussions. Media Civics Lab came to reality as the program was fully funded by the Embassy of the U.S. in the Philippines as part of their COVID-19 disaster response grants. It does not end as a training mechanism, but also enables the SK groups to partner with local government agencies to continuously expand the number of program beneficiaries. In addition, one significant sustainability of the program happened last year as we launched the Media Civics Lab Fact Checking Academy. It is a continuation of the program focusing on content creators and influencers as funded by Internews, one of our active partners during the implementation of Media Civics Lab 2.0. We acknowledge the fact that the is that, that this is still a long journey to eradicate this information in our country. But with the Media Civics Lab micro movements, we create a ripple effect in producing Filipinos who are critical thinkers and agents of change. We activate young leaders to join the rally in developing efforts to achieve a truth thinking mission. And with this, we want you to join us in pulling the collective actions made to create a new breed of Filipino media literacy champions one inclusive program. Maraming salamat.